Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Anth. In this video, I will talk about what humans are adapted to eat and why. This could be a really brief video because humans are adapted to eat anything edible. We are omnivores. Omni equals all and vores equals one that eats. Humans are the ones that eat all there is to eat. Lions are carnivores, meat eaters. Antelopes are herbivores, plant eaters. Humans are omnivores, everything eaters. If it is edible, humans will eat it. Our ancestors were foragers. Some human groups are still foragers. Foragers found everything edible in the region where they lived and they ate it. What different human groups eat is based on what is available in their location. If they live on the East African savanna, they do not eat salmon. If they live on the Pacific coast, they do not eat wildebeest. If they live in the Australian outback, they do eat witchetty grubs. Scientists studying the diet of modern foragers found that in every group, the diet was a mix of plants and animals. In this graph of forager diets, plant represents the foods collected by women, while animal represents the foods hunted by men. However, we know that women collected a lot of animal proteins such as shellfish, eggs, grubs, turtles, and other small game. This means that the lowest ratio of animals to plants was probably 50-50. In the polar regions where edible plants are uncommon, most of the diet consisted of animal protein and the stomach contents of the herbivores. As I discussed in an earlier video, see the link below, our ancestors probably began walking on two legs while gathering eggs from marshland waters or crabbing along the edges of streams and ponds. The fatty acids in these protein sources aided in the brain growth and development of our ancestors. As I discussed in another video, see the link below, our ancestors probably had control of fire by around two million years ago. This is based on evidence that the brains of our ancient ancestors are much larger than the other great apes, and also the fact that some of our ancestors had moved into temperate zones where fire is required for warmth. Control of fire is not just related to warmth and driving off animals at night. It also indicates that food was being cooked. Cooked food is easier to digest, and cooked meat provides more of the nutrients we need for brain growth. Human brains require 20% of the energy we get from eating food. Cooked food makes it much easier to provide that 20% without spending all our waking hours finding and eating raw foods, as is true of the lives of the other great apes. In brief, humans are adapted to eat anything that is edible. We need the nutrients from both plants and animals, and our big brains are the result of cooking this plant and animal food. Yum! Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.